Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So from this given problem, so first we need to list the given since the amount of the loan is 1,500,000,000. So the principal is 1,500,000,000. Then we have this 6.5%, so the rate is 6.5%, so convert this one to decimal, that's 0 0.065. Then uh, for the time, that's 5 years, so time is equal to 5. So to solve for the simple interest, so for this simple interest, using this uh, formula that interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time so substitute now the values so the principal is 1 billion 500 million then times the rate that's 0 0.065 times the time that's 5. So to compute now for this uh, interest, so we have this 1 billion 500 million. So this one is 1 billion 500 million, then times 0 0.065, then times 5. So the interest is 487,500,000 so we have this 487,500,000 so this one is the interest then to solve for this maturity value using the simple interest so for the maturity value so we have this the principal plus the interest so since the principal amount that's 1 billion 500 million then plus this interest so 487 million 500,000 so the maturity value using this simple interest so we have this 1 billion 500 million so this one is 1 billion 500 million then plus this interest that's 487 million 500,000 so therefore the maturity value is 1 billion 987 million 500,000 so we have now 1 billion 987,500,000 So this is now the maturity value using this simple interest. Then to compute for this uh, maturity value using the compound interest So again the principal is 1,500,000,000 then the rate, that's 6.5%. Then in decimal, that's 0 0.065. And for the time, so the time is 5. So first, we need to compute this interest per period. That's R over M. Since compounded yearly, so therefore, M is equal to 1. So R is 0 0.065 divided by M, so M is 1. So therefore, the interest per period is 0 0.065. Then for the number of periods, that's N. So N is equal to M times the time. So M is 1 and the time is 5. So therefore, the number of periods, that's equal to 5. So to solve now for the future value or the maturity value using this formula that the principal times 1 
plus j then to the power n so the principal is 1 billion 500 million then times 1 plus j j is 0 0.065 then to the power n, so n is equal to 5. So to solve now for this maturity value or the future value, so we can combine these two numbers, that's 1.065, then to the power 5, equals, then multiply this 1 billion 500 million, so times 1 billion, 500 million so this one is 1 billion 500 million then equals so the future value is 2 billion 55 million so we have this now 2 billion 55 million then 129,995 so 129,995 pesos so this is now the maturity value using compound interest